Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I have a lot to cover. Please don't miss a minute of this if you have any interest at all in the John Renault's Julianne Light. We're going to take an in-depth look at the new light collection by John Renault as it appears here on the Julianne Light. We're going to compare this to the original Julianne so we know exactly what's different and we have two very similar colors to compare as well. Coming up. So the new collection being launched by John Renault in June 2021 is their Light Collection, L-I-T-E. That collection consists of five styles, two human hair and three synthetic. The human hair designs are the, uh, the Blake and the Kerry. And then on the synthetic side, we have the Julianne, the Cameron, and the Zara, which all are hand-tied designs. So this is super neat because they're gonna just kick it up a notch for us and give us what we have been asking for for many years, and that is a lighter density style with some amazing cap features. I can't wait to get into that with you. So what I'm wearing here is the Julianne Light in the color 12 FS12, which is Malibu Blonde. Malibu Blonde is one of four blondes that were released in their California Blondes collection several years ago. And this is also very similar, I think, especially if you're just comparing swatches to the Venice Blonde. We're gonna take a look at those differences today because I actually have a regular Julianne in that Venice Blonde to, to show you. John Renault's 12 FS12 Malibu Blonde. Let's get up close. So basically it is a light golden brown and then within that you're going to see a light and then a pale gold blonde. All of that and a light brown root. So this rooting is going to be lighter than the 22F16S8 that I'm going to show you next. Uh, this color is also warmer than that 22F16S8 Venice Blonde. Um, I personally think that this is also a little warmer of a blend than the 12FS8 by John Renault. So the light collection is lighter in density and lighter in weight and has some amazing cap features. This Julienne Light, I think the fiber on this one is a little finer than any of the other Juliennes that I have experienced. So that means that each of the fibers are, are just a little bit uh, thinner in diameter, which creates a nice light, fine texture to the fiber. I also think that the density is a little less than the other Juliennes that I've experienced, giving it about a half of an ounce less in weight. So the Julianne uh, weighs about three and a half ounces and the Julianne Light about three, 3.1. So we're talking about a half and an ounce and when we're in, when, with an overall three ounce weight, that's quite a percentage difference. And I can definitely tell the difference. So each one of the fibers is super baby fine. So Julianne is a completely hand-tied cap. What you're going to see is an ear-to-ear -ear lace front. I know that makes you smile. <laughs> In fact, I think that's their slogan, ear-to-ear -ear smiles. And that's because you're going to have so many options for styling. I'm gonna show that to you right away because that is a huge upgrade from the, um, from the regular Julianne. So you're gonna see that that lace uh, wraps around the ear all the way from ear to ear. Now, there's a polyurethane ear towel I'm gonna to show you in just a moment that lace wraps around that polyurethane. So you can actually pull it up and away all the way down through the ear tab. And you can still attach your, um, if you wanna do some adhesives or something on that polyurethane to keep the ear tabs in position, you can certainly do that. But isn't that a beautiful look from the front? So I would actually have just to keep a couple pieces down there, but from about here all the way up, I can pull it away for an amazing natural look. And because of the fine fibers that they're using uh, on this collection, they carry that all the way through to the lace front. So I feel like that really softens the lace front quite a bit, 
each knot is a little bit finer and lighter in texture. So that is going to reduce some of the knotty look that you can get, especially with the darker colors and darker roots. So just leveling up on the realism of the cap. I mean, I thought Julianne looked pretty real. <laughs> you know, even the original one, just because it's hand tied and it has all the monofilament. So Julianne, just to run down the specs really quickly, about 10, 10 and a half inches. When I show you the original Julianne, the curl pattern is a little tighter and so it looks a little shorter. It almost appears that there's a slight graduation on it because overall, I feel it's between 12 and 13 inches. You'll see where it just, the profile of it is a little bit slimmer because of the lightness of the fibers. Looking at that monofilament top, you can definitely see through to scalp from all angles from the top. So you can part it wherever you like. And I love that, especially for Julianne, because Julianne is very ornery, <laughs> kind of chaotic and unpredictable in its curl pattern. I have never seen two Juliannes alike. And sometimes I have to part them a little bit differently to get the most flattering look around the face and that monofilament and lace give me the ability to customize this style to my taste and liking. Julianne has always been uh, just a deconstructed spiral curl. And I have seen variability on this curl pattern quite a bit. Now this is not a petite size. This is a regular size cap, but only in the light version. Um, so I did have to cinch in the adjusters as far as they could go to accommodate a petite average circumference. I also get just a slight amount of bagginess at the top. So we talked about everything with Julianne Light. Let's go ahead and change into the regular Julianne. I have it in Venice Blonde. So I'm back wearing Julianne, the regular Julianne in 22F16 S8, which is Venice Blonde. I actually purchased this from a beloved wig sister of mine recently. Hi, Betsy, and thank you so much. I don't want to embarrass Betsy, but I just think so highly of her, and I just want to give her a shout out. Um, she and I have been friends for a long time. She actually has an Etsy shop and sent me a little something from that Etsy shop along with when she uh, packaged and sent this wig. So she does a little bit of jewelry. She has um, a lot of different things in her Etsy store. I'll place the link below just in case you want to visit Betsy. And she really specializes in handmade cards. So I get this beautiful card. Um, along with the wig. Again, I don't want to embarrass Betsy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Betsy, and from the bottom of my heart. So I think you can already spot some of the differences in this Julianne, right? It's a little fuller. It has a little more body, which means the curls can hold a little more of its their uh, buoyancy there. Okay, and again, highly variable curl pattern. This one happens to be really, really pretty. Now this Julianne regular just has the uh, lace front, it does extend and run temple to temple, single monofilament top, hand tied base and all of that. This is the regular size. I had to cinch this way in to accommodate a petite average circumference. Um, but I just wanna remark on the things that I feel are a little bit uh, different than the light version. So again, the amount of hair. There's definitely more hair on this regular Julianne than there is on the Julianne light. Okay, the lace front, let's take a look at the lace front. So it runs from temple to temple instead of ear to ear. Okay, same coverage as you can see. It's gorgeous and I don't want to make it sound like it's inferior at all because this is just an amazing wig style. And I, I love my Julianne's among my favorites. Um, and then the cap, so you've just got the regular uh, cloth covered ear tabs here, closed ear tabs, and in the back you have an extended nape. Now on the light version, you've got the polyurethane ear tab with the ear to ear lace wrapped all the way around, and then you have a little bit of silicone at the nape on the light version. Uh, that silicone is gonna kind of uh, adhere or to the skin a little bit, and keep it from moving around so that you can pull the hair off of the neck and have a variety of, I don't know, more more variety in your styling. So both of them are super realistic. The dimensions are the same, 10, 10 and a half. Now I think that she might have cut just a little bit of a bang into this one because that piece there is only about five inches on that side. 
Um, and I actually may go in and just do a little bit of a shorter fringe bang. Anyway, I think that would be gorgeous on Julianne. But the curl pattern is uh, a little bouncier, a little more buoyant, rather than taken down on the ends like the other one. That might give it the illusion that it's a little shorter, although the dimensions are exactly the same. Okay, so let's talk about the Venice Blonde because we're gonna compare that in my side-by-sides to the Malibu. The Venice Blonde is has a much ashier tone to it than the Malibu Blonde does. So what you're gonna see is some ash blondes, um, a, a darker ash blonde, almost resembling a honey, and then it has some pale ash blonde highlighting and all of that on a medium brown root. Okay, so those highlights are ashen tone. So it, it is a cooler based tone than that Malibu. So the last difference I want to discuss with you is the pricing on these. So I'm not gonna list the prices. You can see the links below because prices can change over time. But the light version of Julianne is approximately $40 more than the regular version. To me, that's just a negligible amount and does justify some of those really nice features on the light version. Okay, so we're gonna do our side-by-side -side comparisons of these two. I really want you to pay attention to the, the density, um, how the curls lay. Um, I also want you to look at the differences in the color because I get questions all the time. What's the difference between the 12 FS12 and the 22 F16 because they look so much alike in the color swatches. Inside, look at the cap for Julie and Light. So the first thing you're gonna see is that lace front. It's beautiful. It's really deep and it does wrap around each ear tab. So it's ear to ear. It wraps around this polyurethane ear tab here. What you're seeing is this a stay, a metal stay inside of that polyurethane. Wraps around, it's beautifully contoured. And then one of my favorite parts is this knotting. Look how fine those knots are. That carries all the way back through to the single monofilament. All hand tied. Just got, doesn't get much better than that, does it? Just gorgeous. And then you have your uh, stretch panels here that are all hand tied with the cluster knots. And look how fine those cluster knots are. So if you've seen the regular version, you can tell that those cluster knots are just the knotting itself is very fine. They're using a little less fiber and each one of the fibers is a little finer than the regular. Okay, and then in the back, you will see an extended nape that is covered with silicone. And that silicone does a good job of kind of adhering, kind of grabs onto the skin and prevents shifting around for some amazing styling. Velcro style adjusters. Now you can see I cinched those in as far as they could go to accommodate a petite average circumference.